Saddle up, partners. It's time for Dave's Domain. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dave's Domain. My name is Dave. Did you guys know that you can buy private properties on Dakota Riverbend? Properties that are just your own and no one else's. I always knew that were private properties, but I wasn't sure how you went about buying them. But then I started noticing these posters on the poster board about a month ago from the uh, realtor's office. Of course, when I go to find one, there's none here this week. Uh, it's Monday, but I don't see any listings for any uh, private properties. But this is where I saw them, over here at the uh, at these poster boards. And sometimes they weren't all in like every city. You'd see certain, like if there's a house for sale nearby here, I'd see it uh, here on the strawberry board. And these properties are totally different from like the instance housings where uh, anyone can buy them and multiple people can own the same place. Private properties, it's just yours. Uh, you can go to the telegram office and uh, telegram the realtor's office, which is box number 001. So once you know what property you're interested in, you can telegram the realtor's office and they will meet you at the place and they will give you a showing because usually the places are locked. You can pick lock these things and go look at them yourself, but uh, a realtor can give you much more information on the property. Like what kind of utilities it has as far as like storage, kitchen, telegrams, wardrobe. They'll meet with you, open up the place, let you look at it, give you all that information. And then you can put a bid in on it. Every property will have a starting bid. The first week I was thinking about buying a property, I looked at a ranch over in New Austin. I think the starting bid was uh, 60 grand. I bid 95 grand on it that first week and I was outbid. I didn't get it. Then the following week, the Sadie ad the ranch was up for auction. I think the starting bid on that one was around 60,000 also. I bid about 125,000 on that one. And of course I got outbid, lost that too. And in the, in the weeks between, every time I would uh, lose out on these private properties, I was just grinding, trying to get more money, as much money as I could. The bidding would always end late on Friday night as well. You had to have your bids in by then. So the third week, I did a bunch more grinding, made a ton of money, um, actually borrowed a little bit of money from a couple of my friends, Harriet and, uh, and Miss Kitty, just in case, just to have a little bit of extra money and put the highest bid I possibly could on the next property. And I did find something I really liked. Starting bid on this new property I was interested in was 95000 And I bid quite a bit more than that. They also had the mansion in St. Denis up for auction. That was starting at 800 grand, and I had nowhere near that much money. So as cool as that would have been, I'm sure there was like a gang or something that, that, that pulls all their money together to get that thing. I don't know. So anyways, I bid on this new property, and I actually got it. What property did I buy? Bought this sucker right here. The Fortress on Guarma. Now known as Fort Dread. Let's go take a look at it. Damn it, I wish it wasn't nighttime. Now, this isn't the best location, and I have to pay $60 every time I want to go over here. But I've been actually spending a lot of time here, because I'm a rancher now, and I've been ranching my cows and sheep, and I've just bought some pigs and chickens, uh, so I can sell pig crap and get some egg baskets going. There's a Crips here that I can sell all my wool to. There's a Gus Outfitters. There's a farm shop. There's some animals you can kill to get hides. There's places I can work up my lockpicking rep and robbery rep. One really good thing also is there's no law. Law has no jurisdiction here. There's this little fenced in area here that I've been doing my uh, sheep and pigs and cows. Cows, it's a little tight in there for 10 cows, but it works. Gorgeous views, by the way. I can rent it out. Lloyd and Lilith had their wedding here. Uh, I can do events. Let's take a look at the inside. Look at the view, though. It's gorgeous. I wish it was daytime. Now, once you win your bid, uh, you'll meet up with the realtor again. Now, see, it says Fort Dread's Fortress. I asked him to call it Fort Dread. They add that little apostrophe S on there. And it says Fort Dread's Fortress. I'm going to change that and just put Dave Dread's Fortress. When you meet up to the realtor after you win, he'll give you a key. And when you come here, you just use your key. Unlocks it. And then you can lock it right back up also. This. Voila. Uh, this is the interior and the utilities it has is over here we've got uh, we can eat and we can check telegrams uh, it's a little it's a little bugged out because I can't reply to telegrams over here for some reason so hopefully they'll fix that soon and then over here we have open storage 
and wardrobe storage, you have uh, a pretty big 25K uh, storage that comes with pretty much every property. So that will store a lot and then you can change your wardrobe here. Now the only bad thing about these private properties is you can't change anything on the interior. Like you can't add or remove furniture or anything like that. They said that may change in the future, so I'm hoping so, because it would be really cool to like kind of furnish this place and uh, make it more of a home instead of a, a storage uh, area for a bunch of uh, liquor bottles and old cannons. But the interior, this is uh, pretty much it. You've got this big space right there, and then you can go up top to the first opening here, and then right up here also. It would be really nice to add stuff to this place. You know, throw like a farm mill and a a workbench and stuff in here too. And look, you can see the the mainland from here. It's very cool. You can see anyone coming from this way. Now, not every private property is this expensive. I've seen shacks going for like 15 grand, starting at 15 grand. Those would probably be pretty easy to get. So, so if you've been counting for a while and uh, want to uh, get a place that is just your own. All I gotta do is contact the Realtor's Office, box number 001. So that's it. Thank you for taking a look at Fort Dread with me. The next video coming up will be uh, uh, something completely different. It's a new chapter here at Dave's Domain and I can't wait for you to see it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining us, Cowpokes. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments below.